Rock, Paper, Shotgun RPS is a UK-based blog operated by Rock, Paper, Shotgun Limited and authored by Alec Meir, Graham Smith, Brendan Caldwell, Alice Bell, Alice O'Connor, Catherine Castle, Matt Cox, John Walker, and formerly also Kieran Gillen, Jim Rosignol, Adam Smith, Philip Awar and Quinton Smith. It was launched on 13 July 2007. Launched as an independent website for reporting on video games, primarily for personal computers, the site was acquired and brought into the Gamer Network, a network of sites led by Eurogamer, in May 2017. With this acquisition, Gillen and Rosignol will move on to other ventures, but all other staff will remain. Topic. Contributors Topic. Kieran Gillen, a co-founder of the site, was a regular contributor until 30 September 2010, when he announced that he would no longer be involved in posting the day-to-day -day content of Rock, Paper, Shotgun, focusing more on his work with Marvel Comics, but would continue to act as a director and occasionally write essay pieces for the site. Quinton Smith replaced Gillen as a writer in October 2010 before also leaving in July 2011. Nathan Grayson was another former main contributor to the site before stepping down in July 2014. Rock, Paper, Shotgun also features less frequent contributions from several other writers, which have included Tim Stone, Phil Cameron, Louis Proctor, Robert Florence, Richard Cobbett, Craig Pearson, Duncan Harris, Louis Denby, Porpentine, Kara Ellison, Cassandra Kaw and Lee Alexander. Topic. Content. Topic. Rock, Paper, Shotgun reports on upcoming major releases and independent esoterica, and includes reviews, previews, features and interviews related to PC gaming and the PC gaming industry. Some of the frequent categories of stories posted on Rock, Paper, Shotgun include Diary, impressions of a game presented in Diary form, often from the perspectives of many writers, and over the course of many parts or updates, such as Solium Infernum, The Complete Battle for Hell, or Diary of A Nobutoki, Sengoku. These articles are differentiated from reviews as they do not seek to objectively evaluate a game, only to present the experiences of the writers playing. The Fixer, a column featuring guides on tinkering and fixing games. The Flare Path, weekly news and impressions of simulation and war games written by Tim Stone. Kickstarter Catch-Up, a weekly roundup of PC game Kickstarter projects. RPS Bargain Bucket, a weekly roundup of discounted gaming downloads available from third-party gaming websites. The Sunday Papers, a weekly roundup of gaming-related news. What I Think, review of a particular game including what the reviewer thought of the game based on their first-hand experience. Live Free, Play Hard, a weekly roundup of free indie games written by Porpentine. Hard Choices, a column on PC hardware releases and purchasing recommendations written by Jeremy Laird. Cardboard Children, news and reviews of tabletop board games written by Robert Florence. Topic. Controversies Topic. Topic. Fox News and Bulletstorm Topic. On 8 February 2011, the game Bulletstorm came under scrutiny by Fox News through two articles by journalist John Brandon, describing the game as the worst game in the world. The game was targeted because of its profanity, crude behavior examples of which including the game's skill shot system, which has a move that rewards players for shooting at an enemy's genitals, and sexual innuendo. Alongside the panel of Fox News anchors was the psychiatrist Carol Lieberman, who remarked, Video games have increasingly, and more brazenly, connected sex and violence in images, actions and words. This has the psychological impact of doubling the excitement, stimulation, and incitement to copycat acts. The increase in rapes can be attributed, in large part, to the playing out of such scenes in video games. Other claims included that the game could reach audiences as young as nine years old, and that the gore and profanity could seriously traumatize a child of that age group. These claims were largely ridiculed among gaming websites, including Rock, Paper, Shotgun who ran a series of articles discrediting the reports by Fox News. The articles analyzed Lieberman's claims and found only one of eight sources she provided had anything to do with the subject at hand. 
Fox News acknowledged that they had been contacted by Rock, Paper, Shotgun and responded to their claims on 20 February 2011 through its article, stating that the game still remained a threat to children. Topic. Public domain article Topic. In 2014 a rock, paper, shotgun article by John Walker about the existence of orphaned classical video games and the suggestion to let them enter the public domain after 20 years, raised a controversial public debate about copyright terms and public domain between game industry veterans John Walker, George Broussard, and Steve Gaynor. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Official website